out these patterns on this red cedar post today these posts are from the lumber yard and they are rough cut four by four posts so they're actually four inches by four inches but the thing is is I want to use this connector so that it will hold up posts inside cabin. This is what I want to do today. I want to get these posts up here and the other one over there so that it will hold two, two of them, two by sixes that run this way so that I could put joists across here to support the loft. Much like what I have over here. This post holding up this two by six. So, I need to notch the four by fours much like I have right here. Since these, since these are four by fours, true four by fours, this that comes from the store is measured for three and a half by three and a half. So I have to notch out a half an inch on both sides, which is actually a quarter inch on this side and a quarter inch on that side to take away a half inch of wood to make this distance three and a half inches so that this will fit in there like that. What I've been doing, I've been taking my Ryo, my rigid power saw and I've set I've set the depth to just a little over a quarter of an inch because I don't want to do this twice so this saw is already set and it's already ready to go I've been cutting that out and then going back with a chisel so I'm going to set that up That's what it looks like when I'm done with the saw part. All I gotta do is take the chisel in here and these pit parts will break off real easily. So I'll go ahead and saw both of these together and start chiseling. Alright, I've got them all notched. Got them all notched out and I'm gonna start chiseling. I still need to attach these but this side faces outward because of the grain of the wood and on this one will be sitting behind this one so this side will be seen and I chose that side because of the grain of the wood Two over here. This is going to be the one on the outside. That will be the one on the inside. And so I got these posts generally in the area that I want them. 
clamp to my ladder right here. These are the first couple of posts, the ones on the inside. Shows the grain on this side, which should be visible whenever I get this put up. And another post is going to go on this side. Got the same over here. Post clamp to a ladder, which clamps are proving to be some of the best tools on the job site. And I'm going to cut two 2x6s two at 119 and a quarter inches. It's going to fit in between here and run the length across here, which will be help support beams that go across here that will help support the loft and it will also give me a area to run my electrical wire. Alright, first I got these up. Let's see the poles there. The pole is going to go right next to that one and the same on that side. kind of offset a little bit, but I think I could plane that down to even a lot easier than working with these metal holders being offset. So I even these up, the metal holders. I can even up these beams about as much as I can and then attach it to the top, then I can plane the lip down and make them even. Now I'm going to work on another set that goes right about here or so. It's basically what it is. This is what I got done today. I got this frame up with these two posts and these two posts. I got the beginning of the next frame, this post right here. It's a bit time prepping up the next post that goes right about here. But I didn't want to put those up there because the other post that goes with that post is not prepared yet and I didn't want anything to come out all crooked. So this is what I got. These are two 4x4 four four red cedar posts being held down, bolted to the floor by these metal frames. 
thing about red cedar is I planed these and they're nice and red underneath it. They will brown within 24 hours, noticeably. But this nice grain and these colors that are in them, you can bring them back with another planing or a sanding, which is probably what I'm going to do. Tried to make sure I got some nice patterns on the outside so that gives something pretty to look at because it is very, very nice wood. So these are two two by sixes put together to make a beam that goes all the way across. Here is the next one, the beginning of the next frame. Once again, I got the colors on the outside. So it'll be nice and pretty. So the next one's going to come across here. If you could imagine. And about three feet between here, this next post will go. And then the other post will be directly behind that. And the reason I didn't put those in now is because that post is not prepared and relative to these, I didn't want them to come out crooked. So I'll just save that for another day. But once that framing is up, it's gonna come three feet out this way and it'll be a landing and it'll be three feet wide over here. And the stairs will be here. And you go up and then there'll be somewhat of a ladder stash slash stair combination, a steep <laughs> stairway. And you'll come out onto the landing and it will be the same level as the loft up there so that there won't be any lost use of space. This is three feet between here. Gives you a good area of sitting room. Which is what the purpose was because I've seen a lot of places, a lot of cabins and houses that are built with a, a ladder that goes up and you get off and you pretty much jump into bed after that. There's not much room after that, but I wanted to put a little bit of a sitting area and since I got plenty of loft space up here, that's where this concept has come from. And also this side is going to help support the loft underneath here. So I think that's about it and I'm going to the house.